Hello everybody and welcome back into the channel. Today we are going to talk about Voyager and more specifically we are going to talk about Voyager's captain. We are going to talk about Captain Catherine Jane. We're going to talk about why you need her, how good she is and some fantastic use cases. We're going to showcase isolytic damage, how she impacts this, how she makes it better and how she is a real game changer here in Star Trek Fleet Command. To put a bit of perspective on the timing of this video, um, we have another auction for Captain Catherine Janeway coming up this weekend. So this Saturday and Sunday, there will be another material spend event, spend G3 and above, uh, and obviously Armada directives as well, for you to be able to go after unlocking Captain Catherine Janeway. There likely will be a paired SMS like we had last week, um, so any shards that you can get from her, I'm going to explain this video how she works and if you do not have her as part of your roster then you absolutely should be going all in on this officer because she is going to be an absolute change to your game with the way that she works in relation to her abilities that we're going to explain in a second so remember coming up this weekend starting on saturday material spend event for her and i'm telling you that you really need to look at going for captain catherine janeway even if you've got her unlocked getting her promoted is not a bad thing at all either and here she is, Captain Catherine Janeway. She is an epic command officer released in the June 2023 arc in Star Trek Fleet Command. She has two abilities. She has a captain's manoeuvre, quite rightly, as one of the great starship captains in Star Trek. She has red alert, raised shield. When you take hull damage from a non-player, hostile or armada, meaning she will not work in PvP, Catherine Janeway increases your shield mitigation by 6% for one round cumulative. Weapons with multiple shots will only trigger this ability once. Shield mitigation is not to be confused with shield deflection, which is a mitigation stat in itself. But shield mitigation, which is referred to in this way, it means the split of damage after mitigation that is split between your hull and shield. So as a standard, you will receive 80% of your damage after mitigation to shields and 20% to Pull. This is what is affecting that, meaning in essence that with no synergy, 86% of your damage will go to shield and only 14% will go to hull for this one round. That is a captain's manoeuvre, obviously increased by synergy. Taking a look at this ability on screen, you can see that she is that's 6% for one round and she will increase by synergy and unlike most other officers the only exception to this is Picard who works in the same way and I'm talking about TNG Picard not Pick Picard but TNG Picard um, is the only other officer who regardless of which other class of officer that you pair with her you will get full synergy values so you could pair her with another command officer and get the full 7% synergy addition which means that you could pin her with two sides of synergy and get an additional 14% added to the 6% making it 20%. This will mean that for that one round, that will mean that once you take hull damage, now this is a key part of the ability, as soon as you've taken hull damage, it can mean if you have hair with full synergy, you will have 100% of all damage going to shields and nothing going to hull, providing that you still have shields remaining. That is a caveat to this ability. Taking a look at her officer ability now, it is called Bend the Rules. Now, Bend the Rules, this is the interesting one. This is the one that we are going to do a lot more deep diving into as part of this video. At the start of combat, Catherine Janeway increases your isolytic damage by 10% against non-player hostiles or armadas. Again, isolytic damage is something that's been brought into Star Trek Fleet Command as of this month, as of June 2023, and this is something that everybody is still investigating, still trying to work out, and I'm going to show you how she works. We are not going to go into deep dives of how exactly isolytic damage works, but I'm going to explain exactly how Captain Catherine Janeway works with relation to isolytic damage. Taking a look at how uh, officer ability scales, so this will scale as you are able to promote Catherine Janeway. That 10% that she starts off with at unlock increases to 15%, 20%, 30% and finishing off at 50% once you get her maxed out to Commander Rank 5. Now this is going to be massive. And the best way for us to demonstrate this is by looking at some logs. So what we've taken here is we've taken a Strange New Worlds full synergy hostile crew out against a level 53 freebooter hostile. Shout out to Hira for providing us with these logs, a member of my alliance. Thank you so much for doing this. Now I've chosen Strange New Worlds Pike because he actually already affects the uh, shield mitigation that we were talking about before. So we're going to show how a Janeway could potentially impact this as well. So we're going to use the calculator here. I'll leave that there so everybody can still see the crew 
and to demonstrate obviously we do have pike on there that does a similar thing to janeway um if we look at his synergy so he is doing the similar sort of thing so where is janeway can get to 20 percent pike with full synergy so if you have him as a command officer with a science and an engineering side which is what we had it increases that to 14 percent so if we flip back to the screen we are now going to look at this damage that is dealt by the freebooter against our Katinga, because this, this is the one um, that is going to be impacted by it. So if we look at the, um, bring, the bring the calculator back up and we look at the original damage, so the starting off damage was 135,547. We're going to remove our mitigation, which is 95,676. So that leaves us with 39,871 worth of damage. Now if it was standard, we would expect it to uh, have 80% going to shield, which is 31,896, but we haven't. We've got a lot more going to shield because we've increased our shield mitigation um, by the ability there of Ike. So just showing you that it's a very similar way of working. However, because we haven't got Janeway there, we've still got some damage that is going to hull after we've taken hull damage. So that's what we're going to demonstrate there, and that is a basic crew without Janeway um, on the ship there. Now, moving on to looking at a log with Captain Janeway on the bridge here. Now, we are going to specifically be looking at the impact of her officer ability and how that portrays to isolytic damage. So, isolytic damage is a percentage of standard damage which is then added on top. So, it's not removed from standard damage and converted into isolytic. Whatever the standard damage was, that will remain exactly the same. And then, isolytic damage will be calculated and added on top. Mitigation that we all know that removes damage uh, based on the stats of the enemy that you are fighting only affects your standard damage. It does not affect isolytic damage. So in order for us to calculate this, what we need to do is we need to take 456,247, looking at this shot here, second one down on the Katinga. We then need to remove the mitigated amount of damage, which is 134,341, which is with 321,906. We can then add back in the isolytic damage on top of that, it's after mitigation, 45,625, 367, and then this amount of damage will then get converted into the 80-20 rule. Now remember, because this is us hitting the target, this isn't going to be impacted by Janeway's a captain's maneuver it is only damage coming in that is impacted by Janeway's captain's maneuver so if we times that by 0.8 that gives us 294,024 uh, 292,187 now the reason that that's ever so slightly out is because of a reset that is in game and I will really quickly show you that anybody that has got into the higher ops levels will know that in the tree where you unlock super highways there is a, a ksg shield mitigation research that for the first two rounds of combat increases your um, shield mitigation increases the base shield mitigation with the first two rounds of combat so this is the why it is ever so slightly out in terms of the calculation but when we go back and we look at the actual numbers we can see that with the calculator there we are near as damage there and it is just that one one and a half percent that's applied in damage and um, heroes could be slightly higher than mine um, to be able to um, differentiate for the difference so this is really important because what this is doing is this is making all mitigation stats, all mitigation research and all that sort of thing that's on there moving forward. This is going to absolutely nullify that and it's creating us a brand new layer of damage. And this is why Janeway is so important. This is why she is so, so good. Now, there are other things that have been added to the game very recently um, as part of this patch. And those things that were added were new artifacts so we've got artifacts last month and this month we got new artifacts added and um, specific to isolytic damage and there was three that everybody should have at least one for free you had your blade of tacon which is um, specifically um, when you have hull breach and you are on an interceptor there is morale on an explorer which is captain proton's phaser and then there is the increase to isolated damage when on a battleship and the opponent is burning. Okay, and all of these provide a 1% bonus from the artifact, which is then added in um, when being calculated. But we specifically, for our test, made sure that when we were looking at the tests, 
that we weren't using anything on the artifact so it is a battleship but we made sure that there wasn't burning so that we could demonstrate the correct numbers to you so this is how isolated damage is calculated basically based on captain Janeway's officer ability so the next thing that we're going to look at is we're going to look at a different log where we now have a crew that is very similar however we now have Janeway and we now have Giorgio so going back to the artifacts that I was just talking about on a battleship with burning so what this is now allowing us to do is it's now allowing us to show the impact of the artifacts that Janeway has um, with relation to isolytic damage so the key part here is we're going to look at this figure now you can see automatically that it is higher because of that additional amount that we're putting and we're now going to look at what percentage isolated damage is of base damage so 49 450 and then we are then going to divide that by the standard damage which gives us 11 percent which if we convert this into a whole number by times in this by 100 we actually see it's almost 11.1 percent but let's explain where is this extra 0.1 percent coming from it's because Janeway's officer's ability is actually boosting the artifact's ability so we are getting the 10 percent flat add so it's started at zero we're getting our 10 percent we're then getting our one percent from our artifact and because that has been added on we are then also getting a multiplicative bonus from Janeway of 10 percent of what the artifact was so 10 percent of one is 0.1 so what we're getting is we're getting the 10 percent from Janeway getting the one percent from the artifact and then Janeway is boosting the artifact by 10 percent as well so we're actually getting from Janeway here we are getting a net add of 10.1 percent obviously we've already got our one percent from the artifact so she's even more potent and she will get even better if you can imagine once you start tearing up artifacts and you get those to higher and higher levels as they scale through she's going to be absolutely outstanding as an officer she's going to be so critical in pve and it's so important that every single shard that becomes available you go for her and you try and get her ranked up and teared up because she will make a massive difference to your game so again that also points out why we're doing the video right now just before her auction starts this weekend but if this is after the fact and you're watching this video later if you get the opportunity to get Janeway shards she will be massive for your game in lots of different facets this is the final test that I want to show you. I want to show you the impact. We weren't sure at the start of the arc whether it would be impacted by this. However, it turns out they are. So, Janeway is impacted by both Pike and Picard, meaning that you can use Picard and Pike's captain's manoeuvre of boosting officer abilities to improve the ability of Janeway. Now this is big as well so let's look at this so what picard does now bear in mind we don't have burning anymore so we've got to got to remove that one percent but what we're getting here if we take the damage the isolated damage of 106,480, looking at this top shot by the katinga and we divide that by 483 997 we can see that we are getting 22 percent isolated damage this is because we are getting pike and when uh, sorry picard and when you are using picard beverly the way to calculate what impact that's going to have on an officer ability is you are going to take the base amount and you are going to add 1.2 so in essence you take the officer ability and times that by 2.2 so to calculate that we think we've got a currently got a 10 percent bonus from Janeway. we times that by 2.2 we end up with 22 percent and 22 percent is exactly what we had when we just calculated the isolytic damage there so 106 480 divided by 483 997 exactly 22 percent give or take the odd decimal places there for rounding so absolutely huge we didn't think she'd be impacted by picard but 22 percent isolytic damage now you think about this when you get janeway to max level i am not um i am a realist i know that's likely going to take a long long time so we are going to get janeway at 50 percent that means that we're going to actually get 50 percent times that by using pike murrow or picard beverly we are going to get 110 percent 
add to damage. So we are going to actually be able to, with a Max Janeway and Picard Beverly or Pike Moreau, we're going to be able to get 10% more in isolytic damage than what we would actually get in normal damage. To wrap this video up, I think I've mentioned it three or four times now, Janeway is an exceptional officer. I think she goes straight into the roster as one of the top five officers in the game and I do not say that lightly when I'm putting her in the realms of 5 of 11, of Hugh, of 6 of 11, Strange New Worlds, Pike, those sort of officers, she's in that sort of class, she is that good and you have another opportunity, potentially a third opportunity in the third week of the arc to be able to go for her during this next material spend auction and I'm telling you that it will be an absolute benefit to your game if you can get her unlocked if you've already got her unlocked don't rest on your laurels work on getting her tiered up the higher you can get her the more potent she'll be the better she will be for your game if you've stuck with us to the end thank you so much i hope you've got something from this video i hope you understand jane way a little bit better while you're here please subscribe to the channel we have just crossed the 300 subscriber barrier thank you so much in such a short space of time press like leave a comment on the video Anything that you can do like that really helps the channel. We do stream on Twitch on Tuesdays. If you want to join the Twitch channel, the link to that is in the description below as well. But apart from that, thank you so much for watching. And remember, guys, everything is better with Luke. Goodbye.